the matrix I perceive as real. The matrix I perceive as real. It is real and it is real. It's real. Creators, welcome back to my channel. If you're new watching, welcome as well. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the new moon in Pisces that is happening on the 13th of March, 2021. So let's find out what it means. Again, we are having a cluster, well actually a two clusters of planets in two different signs, Pisces and Aquarius. As you can see here on this chart, we're having like four planets right next to each other in Pisces and they are Venus, Neptune, Sun, and Moon. This is a very powerful placement. And by the way, both Venus and Neptune are very strong. They're exalted in the sign of Pisces. So overall, there is a lot of healing energy and especially if you're in Piscean industries such as music, film, spirituality, game industry, anything that has to do with virtual reality and, and foreign affairs. It could also be about chemistry, medicine, hospitals and libraries, you know, Pisces represents a lot of different things. By the way, if you're interested in learning all about that, I created an extensive list of words related to each zodiac signs and each planet. There are more than 1400 words. You can check it out. The link is below in description. This cluster of the planets are having a huge healing impact on our life both on the personal and the collective levels. Every new moon is an opportunity to plant the seeds of your visions and that will be fully manifested within the six months or so. Use your imagination. Be like a child, innocent, and you need to learn to surrender and cultivate faith. Pisces is one of the most mysterious signs. It's not something that our brain can understand because it rules the vast ocean. We are still like haven't discovered everything about the ocean, the marine life. A significant portion of the ocean still remains mystery. So likewise, Pisces has a lot of mysterious elements to it and the best way to leverage this astrological placement is to have some quality alone time and really dive deep into your inner world. If you're into spirituality, now is a really great time to develop your psychic gifts. If you're into creativity, some great inspirations can come into you. Of course, depending on your own birth chart, it's going to be differently reflected. Yeah, so I'll keep it general in this video. A lot of us can also find a new way of finding joy and pleasure in our life in the private way, in the secretive way. This could be about new hobbies, new career, new work, new relationships. Particularly because Pluto is giving an easy aspect to this new man, Whatever that you have been previously been afraid of will be not as intense as it was. This is because of the healing impacts. So overall, on a collective level, we can heal our subconsciousness in a significant way. This is a, such a rare opportunity, to be honest, because Neptune is an outer planet it takes almost like 13 years i think yeah neptune entered into the sign of pisces around 2012 and it stays until 2025 yeah so it takes about 13 years to pass through one sign so it's like once in a lifetime aspect the next time neptune enters into pisces 
gonna be like 156 years later. So make use of this placement. The ruler of this new moon is Jupiter. And Jupiter is in Aquarius. And that is another cluster going on in Aquarius. There are three planets. Well, actually four planets within 30 degrees, including Pluto, Jupiter, Saturn, and Mercury. So overall, we have a, a good balance between Jupiterian and Saturnian elements, which is another big theme of this year, 2021. Jupiter and Saturn are together. So we are figuring out how to build something big and sustainable that is perfectly aligned with our higher vision, higher belief system, philosoph philosophical values, spiritual values that has to do with humanity. So this is a really great time to build something tangible and helpful for a large group of people. This could be technologically oriented or social, economic or political basis whatever that is you know this is a general reading we are building something sustainable that can liberate a lot of people and for the next 20 years or so we are we are going to experience a less rigid regular rigid rules between different classes so to speak social classes Jupiter is close to Mercury so we can experience abundance of knowledge new information, new skills or topics to dive in and this will help explore our mind, expand our consciousness, expand our horizon. For some of you, this could be a new opportunity to travel across the world or it could be a metaphorical way of travel. Aquarius represents the internet so you know we can start forming more meaningful connections through internet through social media uh, it's important that you start making connection with the like-minded and this kind of support will help you accomplish your high vision and your imagination, creative elements are going to play a significant role. Overall, there is a sense of need to let go of the details and let God. If you're not into God, well, let universe take care of you. This is a, not a time to figure out on the mental level. You set out your visions and let it unfold. There are certain things that you need to let go. This will help you create something much greater and meaningful. There will be also an opportunity to restructure your emotional priority as well as your public duties, work, career, public persona. So focus on healing. Focus on healing your inner child and that will allow you to start a new journey that can bring you a lot of peace and relaxation interestingly you can accomplish a lot more by taking a break so allow yourself to be lost in your imagination keep daydreaming invest more in growing your visions and the details will come later so yeah that's about it and mars is in gemini so this means that you can involve in multiple projects or multiple relationships. It's actually better to handle a variety of things at the same time. In this way, you can be intellectually stimulated and perform better. And this will also be stimulating your imagination. We're having a lot of planets and mutable signs, Pisces and Gemini. So this means that you need to be more flexible. Again, this is about surrendering your ego, letting go and letting God. So last month, it was more about maintaining the status quo. But going into March, we are becoming more flexible and 
malleable. You know, things are actually plastic. So let go of rigid thought patterns. Let go of your emotional walls if you've had. Let go of certain rigid boundaries in relationships. Allow yourself to tweak it, make new connections, and in this way you can create something very inspiring and therapeutic to both yourself and others. We still have Uranus and Saturn squaring aspect going on, allowing unpredictable elements and independent value systems to build a sustainable structure in your life. Truth is an invaluable asset. Transparency is an invaluable asset. The more you speak up your voice, the more you represent yourself, your values, the more sustainable stability that can include money, work, relationships, everything, you're going to experience more stable and durable structure that support your life and wellness. So I hope this is helpful. Feel free to share what's going on in your life and in this way we can learn from each other and feel connected. If you found it helpful, consider subscribing and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!